Hey guys, it's Sophie. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome. So, I am back outside filming because the weather is nice enough to film outside. Mostly do this for the better lighting, but anyways, as you can see by the title today, I'm going to be reacting to more of my old routines. I've had lots of fun making these videos in the past, and I know you guys like them as well, so we're gonna do another part, and let's just get right into it. Okay, I can't get Wi-Fi from out here. Looks like we're just gonna kill my data. Okay, the first routine we're gonna be reacting to is my club's routine from 2016. I was in second year junior, but I also had this routine in 2015. Um, anyways, I really miss this routine, but let's just watch it. I remember this was a good one. May 15th, 2016. My leg looks so sideways. <laughs> I miss this routine. Okay, but my mills were kind of... Ugh. I used to have that like chest and difficulty in all of my routines that year. That was such a good turn. That's like more than I do now, except like now my leg is closer to my head, but I did I think I did four. Wow. I can do four like straight leg ponche, but I don't know if I can still do four bent leg ponche. Anyways. Oof, my back like is so bent. I remember these steps being like the weirdest thing ever. My my mills were just not it. Oops. Ah, uh, the iconic cartwheel thingy. Man, I'm so slow. <laughs> I was a little early. You know, I remember when I had that routine, when we first made it in 2015, I had four sets of steps. I don't know why. I'm pretty sure the requirement was only two, so I don't even know why I had four sets of steps, but... I did anyways, and that routine actually got me my first score of 15 ever, so that was cool. Up next, we are going to be reacting to my ball routine from 2013, and I was first year novice. Again, I had this routine for 2013 and 2014 as well, but I remember this was also a really good routine, so let's watch it. You know, my movements were actually pretty nice in this routine. Oh, great jump. I grabbed my leg so low in ring. I, I was like almost grabbing my knee. Wow, okay. Nice. It's all the people yelling in the background. <laughs> I think I did like maybe one or two of those front leg turns and then did like two or three shinnays after. Solid. That was the only competition that year where I caught that risk properly. This is actually really nice music though. I remember I would always fall back doing that passe thing. The arms. My neck looks like it was about to snap off there. Ooh, I cannot do that movement anymore. <laughs> Solid poche balance. Split jump, yes. Oh. I actually got first place for that routine and that was like unheard of for me at the time because I was like 
in the bottom in my first year novice, but I got first place in that routine with a score of 8.7. Yes. Okay, and up next we are going to be reacting to my rope routine from 2016, and like the other ones, I had this routine for two years, so 2015 and 2016, and this video I think was my last rope routine ever, so yeah. Let's watch. I actually kind of like this routine, I just remember it being so tiring. This move is so cool. I can still do it. It's lots of fun. Oh my god, I like don't even remember this music. By here, I'm already exhausted. You know, after watching my 2013 routine, this looks so much faster. Oh my god, I did attitude turn? What? <laughs> See, I had that chest in movement again. This thing was always fun too. But here I'm just desperate to finish. No energy left. Okay, pretty good turn. Oh, I remember this this cool wrist. Yes, go, go, go. Yeah. You know what? That was a pretty good routine. I'm quite proud of that actually. Wow, well, let's give that video a like. Okay, and up next we are going to be reacting to my hoop routine from 2017. And again, this is the routine I had from 2017 to 2018, but 2017 was my last year of junior. I remember this competition was not great, but I think hoop was my best routine, so let's see how it went. What is this ad? Let's, 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 look, let's look at my scores. 12, 11, 11, 10. Cool. Oh my god, this suit. This suit is my favorite thing ever. That move is cool. I can't do it anymore with my, with my hoop. I don't know why. Oh my god, I love this suit. I also love this routine. We're off to a messy start though. Oh. <laughs> what is my face too? Hold up. Just take a look at my face. Also, it got stuck around my arm or something. That was a good turn, though. Oh, I missed this routine. Not bad. Nice jump. I remember improvising that catch because I was supposed to catch it like it's supposed to roll down my hand and I catch it in my legs, but I threw back, so I just went through middle splits and caught it between my legs. Nice turn, what? That was a cool catch at the end though, must say. Turns were pretty good, catch at the end was good, in between. Eh. Okay, 
We're gonna be watching now my free routine from 2012. That, that's about it. I was in pre-novice, so let's, let's watch it. Before we start, this was the most painful beginning pose ever, and I'm pretty sure this was the competition where my music didn't start right away, and I was just suffering there in this awful beginning pose. My suit does not match my music at all, but okay. I had Ponche Bounds on Releve. Nice. I don't remember this routine at all. that sound. Someone like screeching in the back. Are there people clapping? Okay. Nice. Those arms! Those arms! Look at my arms in the in the side wave. Wait. Nice. What am I doing here? Oof. Yeah. Yikes. That was a little rough. And for a special finale here, today is April 13th, the day I'm filming this, and it's marked three years since I won a gold medal at the Commonwealth Games. I actually have a whole video that where I talked about my Commonwealth Games experience, so you can check it out up in the corner. I'm not gonna bother looking for it, but we're gonna be reacting to that routine. I posted it on this channel. I'll link it up at the top as well, but I'm gonna be reacting to that routine. I know I've seen it so many times, but you guys can watch me react to it again. Yeah, so I dropped the very first thing in my routine. Spoiled my own party, according to the commentators. You can hear the people clapping along. There were like 8,000 people in the stands. Oh, almost dropped that. Nice. My god, I miss Australia so much. That was my dad. <laughs> Iconic steps. <laughs> Yeah, my mills definitely got a lot better since 2016. Nice. Love this move. I still have it in my routine now. Okay. Did a lot of walking between my movements though. There's my dad. <laughs> Even after all this, I still- oh, there are my end screens. I can't get over how perfect my bun was that day. It's a perfect circle. How did I make that? So yeah, I miss Australia so much. I miss competing. Hopefully we'll get the chance to compete again soon. But anyways, thank you guys for watching me react to some of my old routines. If you guys want another part, you can let me know in the comments or give this video a thumbs up to show your support. And while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe and turn on my post notifications if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next week with a brand new video. Bye.